All right, here's my recap on Dexter, Season 8, Episode 4, which is entitled Scar Tissue. All right, we've got a lot of stuff that has been trailing from the last couple of episodes. And we have uh, Dexter right now. He's having issues with his sister. And so Vogel actually has Deborah living with her. And I'll get to that here in a minute. She's trying to help her see stuff from Dexter's perspective. But first, I want to talk about a couple of other short small storylines in this episode. Masuka finds out in this episode in actually a very funny scene that he may have a daughter. And he was hitting on his daughter prior to finding out. And they both have the same laugh. It was a very funny scene in the episode. So we find out he may be a father, which is interesting. We also have Quinn. Quinn is trying to become, uh, I forget uh, what lieutenant or whatever it is. He's trying to get promoted there at the police department. And Batiste is trying to help him. There are things going on in this episode that maybe make him not the best choice. And his boss, Batiste's boss, tells him, you may want to look at this other girl, uh, this other detective there as well. And in this episode, Quinn actually has a fight. Somebody, they're at Batista's restaurant, and we've got a couple of uh, people coming in. Some of the detectives there were kind of ragging on Deborah. And it really upset Quinn, and Quinn ends up punching one of them. Batista has to cool everything off so that he doesn't get in trouble because it would definitely harm his chances of getting his, you know, of Quinn getting his promotion. And so he has to give free rounds to everybody. And that's when Batista has to have a conversation with him the next day and tells him, you need to cool it off. You can't be doing stuff like that if you want to get that promotion. So it doesn't look like Quinn is probably going to get that promotion, but we'll find out. That leads us to the main storyline here, which is Vogel Dexter. Vogel still has Dexter on this wild goose chase trying to find these individuals and find out who's stalking her and doing all of these killings. And in this episode, Dexter starts to find out that she is manipulating him. One of the guys that he is looking into, Dexter notices that he has a scar on the back of his head, kind of in the same area of where, you know, the people are having their their skulls cracked open and parts of their brains taken out and dexter says there's something more going on here than what vogel is telling me and he's like you know are did you do weird experiments on these individuals as well and dex and well and vogel tells him yes actually i did do some stuff and this really sets dexter off he's starting to realize that she is she may have an ulterior motive here and he's not sure what is exactly is going on But while Dexter is watching this individual, he breaks into this individual's house. This individual can see Dexter. He's got a camera system set up, and he's actually able to see Dexter go through his stuff. And he actually has a woman down there that he's going to kill. Well, Dexter goes back later and is actually able to rescue this woman. Uh, The the guy's house, you know, where he's at, that guy is actually still a killer and had actually stabbed this girl and stuffed her into this thing, which stopped the bleeding. And as soon as Dexter took her out, it started to squirt out of her body. And so he had to kind of tie her together and bring her to the hospital, but ends up saving her life. And he he realizes that Vogel is kind of using him as kind of an attack dog. And we're going to see where that leads in future episodes. But Dexter hasn't killed anybody in a while. Along with that same storyline, we have Vogel, who is trying to basically rehabilitate Deborah, get her off her drugs or her binges and everything and see stuff from Dexter's perspective shows Deborah some videos that she took of her father, you know, his concerns about trying to train Dexter to do the right thing. And she's watched numerous of the, you know, numerous videos of all of this and realizes that her father wasn't okay with this either and actually confronts Dexter later. This is the crazy part. And this is kind of how this episode ends is Deborah goes to see Dexter at the end of the episode. And she's got this smile on her face Everything looks good. And Dexter ends up, you know, she comes up and says, hey, Dexter, I'd like to talk to you, but I don't want to do it here at the police department. Let's go for a ride. So while they're taking a ride, she asks Dexter, has Vogel shown you some of these videos? And he's like, yeah, I've seen some of them. But she's like, you haven't seen all of them. Well, I saw an interesting one the other day. And she said, is it true that dad killed himself because he saw you kill somebody and he couldn't handle it? Dexter said, yeah, in fact, uh, his best friend told me this a couple of years ago, and that is true. And she says, well, you know, dad kind of had the wrong idea with you. She, she, I can't remember exactly what she said, 
But you could tell that she wasn't happy that dad had killed himself and said, oh, Dexter said, you know, dad saw me as that he had created a monster. And I think she said dad had the right idea, but he didn't do the right thing about it. And that's when she grabs the wheel of the car with them both in it and careens it off the road, off the road into a river, not a river, a lake. And there's a guy there. The, the car starts to go down and there's a guy off, off to the side fishing. He jumps in and saves Deborah and leaves Dexter in the car, which is kind of weird. He didn't even try to go back in after Dexter. But the car goes down with Dexter in it. And that's when Deborah goes out and rescues him and pulls him up out of the water which is weird. She just tried to kill both of them and she's now rescuing him. And that's how the scene ended was her pulling him up out of the water and pulling him up onto the shore. So we're going to see where this leads. This is four episodes in. You can see that this, the writing in this episode is kind of off the wall, a little bit wacky, not as solid as other seasons. You could tell that they're going to try to close this off very quickly. And, and this is the fault in this final season is we're going to see that things move forward very quickly. And they try to cram all these ideas and all these things into this final season to get to a resolution, knowing that this is the last season when they really it's it should have gone this. It, you know, these storylines should have gone over a couple of episodes, but they try to cram it pretty quickly. Uh, so we're going to see where this leads in the future. But that is my recap on Dexter season eight, episode four, which is entitled scar tissue. We'll see you guys on the next video.